So far, the skid steer has been fairly useless because it just digs into the mud and slides. I'm trying to go uphill. It's been raining all night, so it's muddy. And uh, as you can see, it just, it wants to slide. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, so this is what they did on the uh, first side. It looks really nice. And uh, basically they want to replicate that over here. So we're going to pick out this section and then this part of grass here. So they've already marked out the electric lines and gas line. And then there's some communication lines over there as well. dump trailer and mini skid and I think I'm just gonna keep this line I'm gonna ask him where he wants it but basically stop probably in line with this pad having trouble getting traction here so I'm gonna have to hand dig more than I thought.
Well, so far, the skid steer has been fairly useless because it just digs into the mud and slides. I'm trying to go uphill. It's been raining all night, so it's muddy. And uh, as you can see, it just, it wants to slide. I'll show you in a second, but might as well just hand dig it out. And You know, I knew I'd have to hand dig a lot of this job because of these boxes here. Um, those are communications and electric. And so obviously you don't want to hit those. Now they should be at least 18 inches deep or more, but just in case, you know, I'm very careful when I'm using machine around utilities buried. Um, but I'm hoping that down at the bottom and then that section out there, I'll be able to use the skid steer again because it flattens out. I'll be able to get some traction on the sidewalk there, but at the steepest part of the hill right here, I mean, you can see it's just, this is just the surface water from underneath where I was digging. It's all wet because it rained all night, of course. So anyhow, this will be kind of useful, but kind of not. Uh, I could have just done the whole thing by hand and saved uh, 360 bucks cost to rent the machine, but live and learn, right? This is what it is. Well, I sliced my boot on a rock and it's raining. Right there, you can kind of see it. So, foot's getting wet. I'm gonna ask the wife to bring me some shoes, some different boots and a fresh pair of socks. Wasn't supposed to rain all day, but alas, the weather is what it is. Getting there though, got a lot of it done so far. I'm gonna check the weather and see if it'll get any better because um, I don't really like working in this kind of weather and uh, it's supposed to clear up later today but we'll see so that's how it's going wet dirt strikes again all right well been at it for a couple hours now um, kind of getting the rough grading down as you can see there's down slope here and then it kind of angles down that way as well he does want to put in a little bit of a river rock run down that way. So we are going to just kind of hand dig a V ditch going that direction. Um, you know, it's been, it's been working okay. Um, sometimes as I get going up this hill, it wants to slide because it's just so muddy. 
Uh, but it finally stopped raining, it seems, and I'm hoping it's done raining for the afternoon. Uh, as far as what we got so far, got a good amount of dirt in there. Of course, it is real wet. A lot of big rocks, as you can see. Um, that is the tough part, is that the blade keeps striking these rocks, and then it either wants the blade to come up over it, or you have to dig underneath it and pull that rock out. So a lot of times it's pushing the blade up more than I want, which kind of makes it tough to grade up here. Um, Got a visitor. Oh, hi. Bring me some lunch, which is very sweet. Is Declan in the car? Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm just hand digging the stuff over here. And then I'm most of the way there, and then I just gotta do the little rock ditch here. And then all that. But that stuff should be easier because it's not on a hill. The hill makes it really hard because it's so wet. The machine, I've had a hand dig about the top half because it was just slipping. So, is what it is, but I'm, I'm almost there. And now it's looking better weather. So yeah, thanks for bringing my boots. I got a, I got a tear, see? Coming right open. Walmart, they've lasted about four years. So can't be too upset. But, uh, yeah, thanks. I have the best wife. Just brought me some pizza, new boots and socks, and uh, some other snacks. LaCroix, so sun is out, my spirits are up again, and we're getting there, so don't have too much to do. We're gonna get this stuff out of here around the boxes. I'm finding that the ax actually works really well to dig the roots up, and then I just shovel it into the bucket and bucket it into the trailer. So that's what we're gonna keep doing here. If you guys haven't tried Blaze Pizza, they're barbecue chicken with uh, onions and banana peppers and gorgonzola. Mm. It's the Bon Appetit. All right, let's finish this job here.
taken care of. And then we're gonna dig our little ditch down here so you can do a little river rock. mess up here. Oh. It's pretty wet and muddy. I really don't want to get the truck stuck. So I think what I'm going to do is come through here. This area looks fairly dry. I don't really know. And, uh, yeah. Put this here. All right, it's pretty nasty in here, but uh, we'll see if we get this uh, dumped. I'm sure it will, but um, I think it's about eight or 9,000 pounds because the total weight was like 19,000. So hopefully it'll dump, we'll see.
It is a beautiful day though. Look at those clouds. Can't beat that. All in all, just about 7,000 pounds. So for the job, we charged uh, $1,100 and uh, cost 320 to rent the machine. And then 212 for um, dump fees. Had about $10 in fuel. It took about two, two gallons of diesel for that Barreto 825 uh, to fill that up before we returned it. And then um, I've not quite used a quarter tank. I've used about an eighth a tank of diesel. An eighth a tank is about six gallons, called seven. So seven times about five is 35 for fuel for the truck. So 45 for fuel. Uh, not gonna do the mental math because I'm driving right now, but I will throw it up on the screen. I think we made about, just around 